Well, good morning. This is Pastor Jeff, and this is our daily lectionary readings for Tuesday, August 27th, 2024. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have the same psalm reading. So we're at Psalm 11, our Old Testament reading. We are continuing in the story in 1 Kings. So it's 1 Kings chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. And then our New Testament reading, we are staying in the book of Ephesians. In chapter 6, we jump to verses 21 through 24. We're staying in the Living Bible. The translation has not got changed, so we'll just stay with it. Psalm 11. How dare you tell me flee to the mountain safety when I am trusting in the Lord? For the wicked have strung their bows, drawn their arrows tight against the bowstrings, and aimed from ambush at the people of God. <coughs> Law and order have collapsed, we are told. What can the righteous do but flee? But the Lord is still in his holy temple. He still rules from heaven. He closely watches everything that happens here on earth. He puts the righteous and the wicked to the test. He hates those loving violence. He will rain down fire and brimstone on the wicked and scorch them with his burning wind. For God is good and he loves goodness. The godly shall see his face. Our Old Testament reading from 1 Kings chapter 6. It was the spring of the fourth year of Solomon's reign that he began the actual construction of the temple. This was 480 years after the people of Israel left their slavery in Egypt. The temple was 90 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 45 feet high. All around the front of the temple was a porch 30 feet long and 15 feet deep. Narrow windows were throughout. An annex on the rooms was built along the length of both sides of the temple against the outer walls. These rooms were three story high, the lower floor being seven and a half feet wide, the second floor nine and a half feet wide, and the upper floor ten and a half feet wide. The rooms were connected to the walls of the temple by beams resting on blocks built out of the wall, so the beams were not inserted into the walls themselves. The stones used in the construction of the temple were prefinished at the quarry, so that the entire structure was built without the sound of hammer, axe, or any other tool as the building site. The bottom floor of the side rooms was entered from the right side of the temple, and there were winding stairs going up to the second floor. Another flight of stairs led from the second to the third. After completing the temple, Solomon paneled it all, including the beams and the pillars with cedar. As already stated, there was an annex on each side of the building, attached to the temple walls by cedar temples. Each story of the annex was seven and a half feet high. Then the Lord sent this message to Solomon concerning the temple he was building. If you do as I tell you and follow all my commands and instructions, I will do what I told your father David I would do. I will live among the people of Israel and never forsake them. At last, the temple was finished. We scroll down to our New Testament reading. The alternative Old Testament reading is kind of long, so I got to scroll, scroll, scroll. The New Testament reading, the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6, verses 21 through 24. Tychus, who is much loved brother and faithful helper in the Lord's work, will tell you all about how I am getting along. I am sending him to you for just that purpose, 
to let you know how we are and to be encouraged by his report. May God give peace to you, my Christian brothers, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May God's grace and blessing be upon all who sincerely love our Lord Jesus Christ. And here ends our readings for the day.